hey guys welcome to my channel wise man and today in this video i will show you that how can you copy and paste a diff, uh, how can you paste anything in a default format in microsoft excel right so the default means uh, let's say you if you go to his home uh, tab and you can see that the default is calibri a uh, font size having 11 right calibri font having size 11 so how can you paste anything in a default format so that's the thing so what happens i will show you an example so let's say i want to copy this name over here so what i what i will do i has i have just copied that name and if i go to this tab if i use control v you can see that the default or the default font is not coming right so as you can see in this excel uh, in this excel tab the font has been changed to open sans having size 8 uh, same as like over here so what happens sometimes it happens that the default uh, in when you are pasting anything the default options are not available so the one way to do this is that after pasting you can go to this control option and click on this uh, match decision formatting so it will automatically match the uh, the thing that you have copied or pasted uh, from a uh, different source in a destination theme right so whatever the theme you have selected for me it is calibri 11 so it will paste that thing into this default format so uh, that's the one way so but if you have let's have so many work that if you want to copy all this so you, you just go for control c and you will go over here and then you will right click that and you will click on this um like this so that's a very um uh, like kind of a huge work like you don't need you have to use so much clicks so much uh, things you have to do without using any shortcut so the thing is that how can you do this in a very short amount of time so that's the one way as also you can see over here i have this um uh, shortcuts on this uh, on the top of the tab so you can also select that so go to options and go to this um, quick access toolbar and then you can uh, let me remove this first of all generally we have these four options you can go to this uh, over here in this you can select this paste special or paste click on add site click on add so this will come to your customize quick access toolbar like over here and then you can just click on this paste so that you can paste it in a default format right so just go to this uh, cell and click on over here click on paste so that's one way but again you are using so many clicks right but what, what about if I just want to use control V like this like I just want to use a control V shortcut again as, you, as i told you that you are not getting this default font uh, font style font si font size when you are pasting it so uh, in a uh, uh, in a quick way i will show you that how can you um, use a macro how can you build a macro kind of uh, uh, functions can you use so that you can make your own program to paste anything in a default way right so for that you can see this developer option so first of all uh, if you go to this file and go to options over here you can see this customize ribbon and sometimes happen that this developer option will be unchecked if it is unchecked you are not able to see developer option in this uh, menu right so go to file go to option and if your developer option is not available click on this like check the uh, check this box and click on ok so that you can get this developer option now in developer option go to this visual basic right so it is a visual basics for application it is vba now over here you need to uh, write a macro so i have already uh, so what you need to do go to file sorry um go to insert click on module so you can see you got a module 2 so in this way if you have this module uh, you can just write over that so first of all let me remove this module so that i can show you um, as a first way so let me remove this 
Okay, do you want to export? No. Okay, I am removing this. Okay, so whenever you open this visual basics for application, you will get this kind of interface. Now over here, we don't have any module. So click on insert, click on module. So you will get a module one, right? Now over here, we will write a program. So the program is that, uh, first of all, you need to define a subcategory, which is generally used to provide a functions, right? So we have a sub, and then I will just give uh, the program name as paste my way. So you just need to paste whatever I want as, as on my way. Then click on enter, and as you click on enter, you can see that you will get this end sub. Right now, over here, where the cursor is blinking, click on tab, and then write this on error. Resume. So R capital resume next. Right? If I if I got an error, the program will go for the next uh, available options that I will give. Right? Then we will write the main program, which is that at cell dot paste special which is over there right so on the active cell where I am where I am working so active cell again I mean that where I'm wherever I am just working it is active cell so on the active cell I just need to use this, this paste special command which is paste right so I need to paste it what equal to then i am getting so many commands and over here the command is x l paste values so let me find that okay it is over here and i will just select that one right so my program has been completed i provided that you just need to paste special again because we want to space special that we are doing so if i go over here I will see I will show you that I am just doing paste special right in that I will go for text right so that what I have provided so paste special paste values only right so I'm just providing paste values okay so as you can see this one so I'm providing paste values now just click on this save click on yes so I have just made a macro and I have just saved it now I will close this and I will show you that one more time. So let's say I have this name, copy it and if I paste it, okay. So now what I have just used control V, but I, I haven't provided uh, the shortcut to my macro, right? So what I will do, I will go again for developer options, go for macro. Now, as you can see, the macro name has been, uh, as seen on this macro tab so the it is now visible my program is visible paste my way now click on this option and provide a shortcut key so uh, i will use control p click on ok click on close and then again i will use control v so as you can see you can see the difference between these two so i am using control v and i am pasting it with the default format so in this way you can just uh, use this macro to paste anything in a default format i hope this video will be helpful to you if it is helpful hit the like button and subscribe my channel wise man thank you